Let's do a lightning round. If you were elected president, um, name some of the people that you expect or you would like to appoint as secretary of state. Who do you, who for you would be a great secretary of state and why? Oh, uh, I don't know about that. I, you know, I don't think I can answer that question because I, um, I don't really want to telegraph my choices like that. I mean, you know, I love, uh, I love Tulsi Gabbard. I like her that, you know, she understands the, you know, the importance of, um, of, of, of disentangling, of unraveling the empire and unraveling the war machine. Would you ban gas stoves? Uh, and this is a lightning round. We'll come back to these in depth if you would like. You know, people are talking about banning stoves. The Biden administration is about ter- talking about banning gas stoves. Yes or no? Yeah, I wouldn't ban. I would not ban gas stoves. Great. Uh, would you ban the use of Roundup herbicide? I would. Uh, would I ban it? I would certainly make them uh, label it, and I would do everything I could, could to make sure that Monsanto is honest about the injuries that it causes, that people are buying now with an open, you know, and with an arm, arm's length negotiation, understanding that they're buying something that's deadly poisonous. Okay. Uh, I, would you I, ban? Yeah, would you choice. ban any? Would you ban any major prescription or over-the-counter drugs that are now on the market? Uh, I, I'm not comes to mind at the moment, but you okay. know. Would you, uh, you uh, have a personal history of, of substance abuse. Your family has, uh, you know, certain recurring motifs along that. Would you legalize drugs or, or what? Currently, illegal drugs. Would you legalize? I would. I would decriminalize marijuana on, on a federal basis and allow the states to regulate it. And uh, I would. What about- well, I would have a federal tax on it, though, and I would mm-hmm. apply that tax to uh, building rehabilitation centers uh, uh, around the country and providing people, re- you know, drug rehabilitation. Uh, what about psychedelics, which have been uh, decriminalized at the state level in Oregon well, and Colorado? Definitely decriminalize psychedelics. Okay. Uh, would you support immigration reforms that make it easier for more people to come here and live and work legally in America? Yes, I would. Okay. Uh, make it, would make it impossible for people to cross the border illegally, and I would open up immigration for legal immigration. Uh, would would you ban uh, so-called assault weapons? Oh, I'm not going to take away anybody's guns. Um, but I do. If 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 there was a consensus where Republicans and Democrats voted a majority to do that, I would sign the bill. Great. Uh, would you pardon Ross Ulbricht, the uh, founder of the Silk Road, the uh, deep web uh, drug market, Julian Assange of WikiLeaks, or Edward Snowden? I would pardon Assange immediately because he's a newspaper publisher and it is crazy. Uh, It's crazy what they're trying to do to him. It's completely anti-American. I would would pardon Snowden because what Snowden did for the American people was to, you know, help restore at least some semblance of democracy and the the importance of of the information he released was so it, it's so it's te- attested to by the fact that Congress passed legislation uh, recognizing the, you know the disclosures that he had and making sure that you know to try to make sure that those kind of abuses didn't occur again. So I think he is a hero, not a he shouldn't be treated as a villain. Um, with Ross Ulbrich, uh, I you know I need to I need to look into that. My my understanding of Ross, Ross Albrecht, the way that I understand it now is that he was, uh, you know, was given two life terms for something that normally you would not be given that. And if I investigate this, which I'm going to do very, very quickly, and I find out that he was not being punished so much for his crimes, but being punished as an example to teach a lesson or to, uh, you know, to 
uh, to cre increase the bias against uh, against you know Bitcoin, and uh, I will release him. Reason's audience is is largely made up of libertarians. We believe in free minds and free markets, in limiting government and increasing individual autonomy. As you're running for president and you're you're pulling you know 15 percent, 18 percent in various polls. What is a message to libertarians who believe in, you know, free minds and free markets that you can bring to them? Well, I think I'm aligned. I've always been aligned with libertarians on, on most issues. I mean, there's tweaks that I have, um, you know, that as an environmentalist, I don't think, uh, I don't think libertarianism works well in the commons, at least in any way that's practical. Uh, but I, but when it, you know, and those are, you know, those, those are policy, those are uh, assets that are not susceptible to private property ownership, like the shared assets of our community, what we call the public trust assets or the, the commons or the commonwealth, uh, the air, the water, the wildlife, fisheries, public lands, uh, aquifers, those kind of things that you do need government regulation um, because of a um, an economic law called tragedy of the commons, which 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 suggests that all of us will catch the last fish in the ocean. But doesn't uh, that also imply that we should be privatizing more of the commons? Because when you have clear property rights, you tend to take better care of them than if will, they're left to the yeah. public. I you know I've seen schemes like that. You know, particularly regulation of fisheries that have worked. Uh, mm -hmm in some cases but there's something really undemocratic about it i mean why you know one of the reasons that we that the british you know rose up and fought the battle of running mead was because king john tried to privatize the you know the rivers of england the thames and erect t tolls on the thames he privatized the you know the game animals the fish and the hair which is why what gave him a problem with Robin Hood. He privatized the fisheries, and those those assets were a social safety net. So if you were a farmer and your crop didn't come in, you could go down to the Thames and you could pull out a fish and you could feed your family. You could go into the forest and kill a deer. And uh, and you know, there's something very democratic. In fact, the Magna, the full uh, name of the Magna Carta is the Magna Carta and the Charter of the Forests. Uh, because it, it it recognized that the commons belong to all of us, that whether you're rich or poor, humble or noble, black or white, European or, you know, African, wherever your origins, if you were a citizen, you had an equal right to cross over a beach and pull out your yes. share of the fish. That was an excerpt from the Reason interview with Robert F. Kennedy Jr., who's running for president. If you want to see another excerpt, go here. If you want to see the full thing, and you should go here. Come back next Thursday at 1 p.m. Eastern time when Zach Weissmuller and I will be talking to somebody that you absolutely want to hear from.